All right, so here we are in nature, and uh, you know, you've heard talks about the conscious mind. You might even heard about the subconscious mind, but there's another level, it's the creative mind. And that's right down here in your waist area. And there's a way to control or consciously decide what type of beliefs you truly believe on a daily basis. Nine times out of 10, we're operating from our intellect and our emotion. And throughout the day, you're in a battle like this, which is called, what causes most people to like shallow breathe because th they're bouncing between their emotions and their intellect. Largely stimulated, uh, their intellect is largely a lot of times stimulated by their emotions. So what I've learned to do is to drop down into that subconscious, that super conscious, that creative conscious. Um, and if you do that, you're able to manifest a whole lot deeper and I want to show you how to do it um, and I'm just coming from my level of awareness right now I don't know if this is for everybody but I do know if you've been working on yourself for a very long time and you want to manifest very fast then you need to plant it here because this is where you get birth from this is your creative space right here and so in order to manifest you can't most people are trying to manifest from their brain you ever seen anybody give birth to a baby from their brain? You ever seen somebody give birth to a baby from their heart? Those are two powerful components, but the magic happens here. And so what you want to do is remind yourself that wherever attention goes is where energy flows. So you want to bring your attention to your root. Put all of your attention on your root. Imagine, if you will, that there's a bag at the base of your spine. Put all your attention on that bag at the base of your spine. And immediately, if you've been doing some spiritual work, you'll start to notice that the base of your spine is tight. And that's a good thing because that means your super conscious, your creative space is closed off because at the top of that bag, there's a entrance and an exit. And in order for you to have access to that creative space, you gotta know how to open it. With most people, they open it at nighttime. When you sleep at night, your creative space opens and that's why you dream like that because that bag opens and all of that suppressed creativity just flows and you just dance in it. Well, you can do that while you are awake as well and there are several ways to do it, but I'm gonna teach you an easy way to do it. Put all your attention on that bag. See the top of the bag, it's closed. And as your attention is on that bag, you can even bring your hands to your lap like this. Put all your attention there and just repeat to that bag. I love you, I love you, I love you. And the key here is you gotta allow your waist to relax more and more as you say, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. All of your attention on the bag. I love you. I love you. I love you. You even notice that your body might move unconsciously like mine just did. I love you. I love you. I love you. Just allow your body to do what it needs to do. I love you. 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 Your body might start to sway because your body is trying to align. You're not possessed. Your body is just trying to realign. You've been out of whack. I love you. 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 I love you.
And now I want you to think of something that you want to manifest as that bag is open. And imagine that that image is starting to flow down slowly into that bag. Make mental deposits of what you want to manifest. Keep your attention on your waist area. Keep your attention on the bag. And allow those images of what you want to bring into your reality to fall into the bag. Keep your waist soft. I love you. 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 And then, once your images are dropped into the bag, you just open your eyes and come out of it. And the bag is going to close by itself. You don't need to bring yourself out of it. That's all self-hypnosis is. You're just dropping down into this creative space, giving yourself a conscious suggestion, and then the bag closes and you just go about your life and all of a sudden you start behaving in a way that's gonna put you in alignment with the things you wanna manifest. It's really that simple. This is the seed down here. This area is the seed, okay? Everything that you're seeing in the physical world, we get to experience because of what's been planted in the seed. And so all you gotta do is become conscious about that, which is why it's important to control your thoughts, decide what you wanna think and feel every single day because this central nervous system is a pipeline that leads directly to your bag. And every time you watch something, every time you are exposed to something, every time you are listening to music, engaged in conversations, it sparks an emotion. That heart sends a signal down to your bag. And so this is a conscious way of doing it. And when you do it in a conscious way, your body is going to start adjusting itself. It's trying to rid yourself from those emotional holding patterns that's keeping you in a reality that you don't really like that much. Master your mind and make money online. It's Robbie Cornelius.